Uh, you, well, at the finish of the races, you'll see that um, you know, we're trying to set up two areas. One is the media area, and secondly, uh, like the warm down area. Um, it's just something which you know, a few people in our team have been pushing that that is something that we should be doing. Uh, not many teams do do so. Um, you know, I think it, it's breaking tradition a little bit that the guys don't just come thundering over the line and then straight on the bus and then straight off. But the idea is, like if you saw yesterday, some people just won't do it because they, they've perhaps ridden quite easy up to the bus or if they've had a sprint day even and they've just sat in the peloton quite nice and they don't need to warm down. But the idea is, you know, people who have gone flat out to the line, then they should try and warm down afterwards. And then also, you know, before the race, Maybe they need to warm up as well, so it's the same thing really. We call it cool down system. I believe it's coming from uh, American track and field. Each university with a bit of respect for themselves, they have a cool down system. And uh, we started it with a HTC team like uh, three or four years ago, it was Pop Stable Times ID. And uh, first I was a little bit skeptic about it, but then I realized the old Germans, East Germans, they really like it, they believe in it. And everybody in, so even like Knapp, Tony Martin, Kyle in the past, Mr. Cavendish after the stage, they do it to recover, just to recover. So we got it at the finish line, nine minutes. Trust me, trust me, it's, 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 it's bloody cold, but uh, it's a part of modern cycling. Like first on the home trainer, three, four minutes, then ice water, about eight, nine minutes, and then you recover a little, little bit faster and that's modern cycling.